mean, you went from not so good to amazing. Last year, an ERA of over six. So, Lucas, I'm gonna help. You're gonna help me out here, but I, I had to go back, man. Ooh. I'm looking at your delivery, and I'm, we're gonna Ooh. talk about this because you have at what's conventional long arm in the back. You would have been the number one pick in the draft in 2012. There's the, the old uh, uh, commissioner, Bud Selig, 14th overall at a Harvard Westlake. Here you are in the futures game, right? A couple years ago. What I would consider regular stuff, but not so good with the results. Started throwing the ball, missing, a lot of walks. Uh, the stuff wasn't quite there. I know when you were drafting, you had Tommy John. Here's from 17 into 18. You see the numbers not so good. But I'll tell you what, something happened. You had an interview in spring training. This is what you said. I want to check it out. Cleaning up my arm motion. Uh, it's, I, I used to stab it out a little bit behind my back. It was a little long, hard to repeat. Now my arm action's a lot shorter. Uh, it's more direct. So it's easier for me to be on time. You said, you said, Lucas, about being on time. Here it is right here, long on the left prior to this winter yeah. and what you took place. Super short on the backside, yeah. which now puts you in time. Explain that right there. What do you mean by that? Um, for me, all that matters is where your arm's at, at when your foot strikes. You want to be in a good firing position. You, you want to be in a position of power so you can then finish through the pitch. All right, so here you are, short yeah. on the backside, back to the stuff that every scout loved about you a few years ago, 95, 96, straight gas. Yeah. What has separated you, and Pedro's going to get in on this, you've got your power slider, which is really good, plus plus across the board. Who doesn't like it when you're throwing at a 240 clip? and you're punching out guys. But to me, this is a separator for a guy like yourself who's now trusting his changeup. How much do you use your changeup now? Uh, I use it a lot, a lot more now. Um, a big part of that is having Be mechanics. careful. He's listening. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I'm pitching against you guys, but. Uh, Thank God. A shot of the grip. Oh my yeah. God. You said you trust the grip and you throw it. What yeah. does that mean? So for me, it, it's all in the grip. It's all in maintaining arm speed. I want to have the same exact arm speed for all four of my pitches. Uh, I think right now my curveball is kind of lagging behind the other three, but my changeup is at the same level of my fastball. I will throw that in any count, any situation. I don't care. Real quick, who was the guy that, that you went to him and said, hey, look, a six CRA is not going to cut it. Yeah. I need to make a change, and why? So I went back to uh, Ethan Katz. He was my pitching coach in high school. Um, he's been in pro ball now for a few years. Uh, he's uh, assistant pitching coordinator for the Giants now. He's been trying to help me out, uh, you know, ever since I've gotten into pro ball, and I just was stubborn. I wasn't listening, and after the year I had last year, I was like, "All right, I'm all ears." I went back, uh, went back in the off season, called him up immediately. What do you got for me? I'm going to do it, and so. Just a few things, kept it simple. Um, I'm sure you guys heard a drive line and all that. Uh, we just kind of picked out a few um, plyo ball exercises yep. from drive ball, uh, drive line. Uh, started doing those, and then it translated immediately when I started playing catch. My arm action was shorter, and I was on time more often than not. It's